Hi, I'm Tommy Luganbill, and I'm the director of Tech Board at the University of Maryland. Today I'm here with Matt Hayes from UPD. And before we get started today, I just want everyone to know that we are not medical experts. Uh, we are not claiming to be, but we do feel that we have some interesting information to share with everybody. So we're going to start out by talking about a UV sanitizing box that Mr. Hayes over here developed last summer. He's going to talk about some of the things that it can be used for, and then maybe some ideas for those of us out there that are trying to come up with a solution to the outbreak of the coronavirus. So this was a UV sanitizing box. It was originally developed for a different purpose, but we're showing it here today. Um, it's a high intensity UV light source with a turntable inside that you could potentially use to sanitize things. And there is some research out of, uh, I believe, University of Nebraska on the use of UV light for sanitizing uh, face masks. You have to have UVC in a wavelength of about 165, 170 nanometers. Um, we're not certain that this is the best idea because the LEDs and the light bulbs that produce UVC are, be, are in short supply nationally. They're hard to get. The supply chains aren't there for us today. And there's also questions about the uh, depth of penetration of the UV light and how effective that is. We believe a more effective way is through heat. Based on published research, 60 minutes at 70 degrees Celsius will destroy the virus and not degrade filter capability. We do not recommend using a small oven, as this will likely damage the filter. We want to build a shipping container into a unit that can sanitize 160,000 masks per day. We want to release all designs publicly so they can be built around the country. We think we need about $50,000 to build the first one. We hope to have it up and running in a week. And remember, we are not medical professionals but we are a group of passionate volunteers with expertise in a variety of different industries. And if you'd like to help us, please feel free to reach out, provide us with feedback on what we're talking about today. If you wanna to donate time, resources, or even just ideas, please feel free to reach out.